A lot of you have been struggling with getting Salty Herba Mystica in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I know I have, it is a difficult ingredient to get, but if we're referring to this original sandwich list that was created by The Time Is Nigh, then we are going to require it to get that sparkling power to go out and hunt shiny Pokemon. But it turns out that this is not the most effective way to make sandwiches. In today's video, we're going to cover a brand new list that gives you the most effective recipes using any type of the five Herba Mystica to create these powers. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, this is the original list that everyone has been referring to for shiny sparkling power using Herba Mysticas. As you can see, the majority of the recipes use that Salty Herba Mystica. So everyone's been going out hunting for Salty Herba Mystica. And with like a 24% chance of it actually appearing in any one Terra Raid Den, it's a pretty difficult item to get. But thanks to Papa Hefe, who is the RNG god, we covered a bunch of his discoveries on BDSP on the channel as well. So he's actually come up with a brand new list. And this list you can get in counter power and sparkling power for any of the 18 types of Pokemon with any combination of Herba Mystica. So we're gonna go over this recipe list today to make you aware that this is the most effective way that we've got to get sparkling power and encounter power going forward for shiny hunting so you're not going out and wasting so much time just hunting for Herba Mystica. Any Herba Mystica is going to be good, you're just going to need a bunch of extra items to be able to do this but they're easy accessible from all the deli counters, kiosks and shops around the Paldea region. And as you can see the sandwich recipe list is pretty simple. You're going to have to use one serving of each of the following ingredients so you're going to need a lot of these ingredients. These are tomatoes, onions, green peppers and hamburgers. And then the second step is use two servings of the following ingredient to get the exact type that you want. For normal, you would use two pieces of tofu. For fire, two red peppers. For water, two cucumbers. Electric, two yellow peppers. For grass, two lettuce. You get the idea, you've got the cloth sticks for ice, pickles for fighting, poison green peppers, ground is ham, flying prosecco, Psychic onions, bug is two cherry tomatoes, you've got bacon for rock, ghost is red onion, dragon is avocado, dark is smoked fillet, steel is hamburgers, and fairy is tomatoes. Then after this, you add any two Herba Mystica. You can mix and match, so any two Herba Mystica that you've got, you stick them together, and this will create, depending on what you've chosen as your type, the sparkling power, the title power, and encounter power level three for that particular type. So these recipes are the ideal recipe list for making sought after sparkling power and encounter power that you would want to go out and hunt for shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Majority of the ingredients that you're gonna need for these sandwiches can be found in Mesa Goza West in the three store Shurkans, the Artisan Bakery, and the deli kiosk. So you're gonna be able to just come over to these three areas here. And like I say, you're gonna be able to find everything from your green peppers to your tomatoes, your onions, all your standard ingredients. This is Shurkans here. You can see they've got a bunch of ingredients like your tomatoes, your pickles, and your, your other things. Then you wanna to come to the deli kiosk, which is right next door to it. This will sell the more rarer items like your hamburgers, your bacon, prosecco, avocado, things like that and then and your green peppers as well which you're going to need for that main ingredient so grab a bunch of those the first level you're going to need tomatoes onions green peppers and hamburgers so they're the main ingredients that you're going to want to have the most of and then you can come down to the artisan bakery as well which will sell the other items that you're going to need for the sandwich recipe any extras that you didn't pick up in the other two and i think the only two ingredients that you're missing from this list are going to be tofu and cloth sticks so you want to head to lavincia town and then head up to the aquasta or aquesta supermarket and this is the aquesta supermarket so we come in, you're going to see mayonnaise, a bunch of sauces, you're going to get your regular ingredients like your ham, your jam and stuff like that. But you're also going to get right at the bottom, 
some tofu. And this is the ingredient that you're gonna need for that, the normal Thai boost. So we've covered everywhere where you can pick up all of the ingredients. So once we've got all of our ingredients, we're ready to go, we can come and set up a picnic and we can test this out and show you how intuitive this sandwich list is and how well it works with different combinations of ingredients, mixing and matching every single Herba Mystica. So you're not relying on one type for doing some sort of shiny hunt that you're looking for. And it doesn't mean that it's gonna take you even longer to get around to doing that shiny hunt. So we'll set our picnic up and we'll come in and make a sandwich. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna go into creative mode. So let's create an electric sandwich. So the first thing that we're gonna do is one serving for each of the following ingredients. That's tomato onion, green pepper, and a hamburger. And then we are gonna need to use two servings of the ingredient for the type that you want. So if we're going for electric, we want two yellow peppers, and then we wanna come down to the next list and use any combination of Herba Mystica. It doesn't matter what you've got. You don't need any salty. It can be any two Herba Mysticas, which is perfect, because I've just run out of salty Herba Mystica, so I'd be stuck otherwise. I'd have to go around red dens. It would take me ages to get any if I was to do it from the old list. But as you can see here, I've got four spicy, so I'll just use those. And we will go to next, and we'll get ready creating this sandwich. Obviously, it's gonna be a little more tricky than your normal list because we've got a lot more ingredients. So you're gonna have to be a bit more careful with how you're layering things up. But I don't think it matters as long as you're getting the ingredients on the bread. If it falls off, it's not gonna affect your star rating. So don't worry about that. You can always save, I guess, before coming into the picnic, picnic if you want, if you don't get that three star, just to make sure that you're not wasting your Herba Mysticas. It's probably always advisable to do that. We can get a big fat burger on there peppers though and you can see one pepper falls off there but i'm not too worried about that that should not affect our rating even if the yeah i mean that is a mess that is a mess but this is not going to affect how the sandwich turns out how it's rated we've got all the ingredients in there i think because we're just getting them all onto the bread in the first place you're going to be fine so here's that cut scene three stars a tasty osiris original Sparkling power, title power, and encounter power level three for electric using any mixture of Herba Mystica there. And we can come out now and we can just start going around whichever area we were planning on going around and hunting for electric shiny Pokemon and see how well we get on. But that is how you mix and match without needing salty Herba Mystica as that old list. Throw that old list away. It was good, it does work. 100% it will still work but this is a more effective way better recipe menu for you to use and it means it's going to be more accessible for you because you're not going to have to go out and continually hunt for salty Herba Mystica. I hope you found this video useful. Again, a massive shout out to Papa Hefe who put the work into compiling this new sandwich recipe. Definitely check out his channel if you're interested in RNG and anything like that. He does some incredible content over there and I am just so appreciative of this recipe guide and I hope you get some use out of it as well. So thank you so much for tuning in friends. Good luck with this new recipe guide. If you do start using it, let me know. I've covered all the ingredients where you can get them around the region as well as showing you how to put it together. It's pretty easy and it's just a way more effective method than anything that we've been using in the past. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Good luck shiny hunting.